The bronze medal contests are for people who've gone through the repechage and also the defeated semi-finalists. So you have the two defeated semi-finalists going up against two repechage winners. And the very first of those, Kazakhstan's Zanbota Amansol up against France's Helios, I need to pronounce his name correctly, Lachumanaya from Tahoba down in the south of France in the men's under 90 kilo category. The first bronze medal contest of the afternoon. This is world ranked number eight against the world ranked number three. That's right, Amanzol from Kazakhstan, eighth seed here, is 24 years old. It's his first Paralympic Games, as is the case for Lachumanaya. There is Elios himself. Defeated Hirose in the quarterfinals and then lost to one of the finalists, obviously, Vahid Nouri. Second in the European Championships two years ago was La Chumanaya. Born in the uh, greater Paris area, but moved down south. And then here we have Zanbota Aman Zol. He had to go through the Repas Charge, got knocked out in the quarters and then came through. So he's had a little bit more of a workout today. Maybe that will count against him if this bronze medal bout goes the distance. Referee for the bout is Iona Babuk of Romania, who will be taking charge. She'll be bringing the athletes onto the tatami, the name of the area. If you're not familiar with judo, the phrases used in the sport of judo are Japanese, and the tatami, or the mat, is the area that they will be competing on. And that's that yellow square that you'll see in just a moment. And that's the competition area proper. If they were to leave that area, and go on to the red part of the mat. The referee you'll hear using the phrase jogai repeatedly to give the athletes an idea of where they are on the area and how they can orientate themselves back into the center. Amanjol on the left of your screen to begin with, he is wearing the white chudogi, La Chumanaya of France wearing the blue one. And we are underway, four-minute bout. Straight into the action is Lachuma Maya. He tries to do the throw, but Amansol manages to get on top. And the referee will call Mate. You see, put that hand out to stop the athletes. And this is called Kumikata. And they have to start off in this position. And that's a kind of neutral position. But once underway, as you can see, they can move anywhere on the tatami that they wish and try to get set to do a throw or a takedown. Oh, there was an Ashiwaza there from Manyaya. And now you'll see the clock start to tick away here, going up to 10. If it's up to 10, that'll be a wasari. If it goes on to beyond that, could be up to Ippon. Now it's the job of Amansal to try and get himself free of the tatami. We see now already a wasari score. Is this going to be an Ippon within the first few seconds of the bout? It certainly is. Great result there. Bronze medal for Helios Lachumanaya. He tried the throw, wasn't successful with that, but managed to pin his opponent first for 10 seconds for Waza'ari and then for a subsequent 10 to make it into Ipon. That's the first of the two bronze medals in the books. A reminder that there are two bronze medals. Lachumanaya won't have to fight again against the other bronze medal match winner. There will be two bronze medals. We have a nice big podium here. And the first one of them is going to France, a proud judo nation that won the team event at the Olympics around three weeks ago at this very Nippon Budokan. And here they are with a bronze medal for Helios Lachumanaya in the men's under 90 kilo category. This is first Paralympic medal for Elios Lachumanaya, France. 
フランスのナチュマナヤ選手は初のパラリンピックメダル獲得ですおめでとうございます Gentlemen, you can see the highlights of this first. He's very taking him down because he's done the, the hold down. Tate Shihogatami holding his man in position on the ground, on the mat, unable to escape that.